and welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Flamborough Head Heavy Anti-Aircraft Battery, which was part of Operation Diver. Operation Diver was a name given to British measures to combat attacks from the German flying bomb between June 1944 and March 1945. Diver employed heavy and light anti-aircraft guns in addition to barrage balloons, fighter aircraft, bombers, radar, visual early warning and intelligence to meet its aims. It was confined to the south and east coast of England. All diver anti-aircraft sites were temporary, ranging from occupation for several months to just two days. The early examples in Surrey, Sussex and Kent, the coastal gun belt, consisted almost entirely of portable equipment and accommodation, usually tents with surface modification limited to minor earthworks. By contrast, the most substantial sites were the later ones, built around the coast from the Thames to Flamborough Head, the so-called Diver Fringe and Diver Strip. Most of these were provided with extensive domestic camps comprising of Nissan huts, as well as metal roadways and other structures such as ammunition shelters, slit trenches and radar platform. The pair of stations BJ and BJ1 were the most normally gun sites built, sited adjacent to an early radar installation and later a temporary American training camp. The dive stations were started on the 22nd of January 1945, a large part of the construction work being carried out by refugee Soviet nationals. The Northern Station BJ-1 was operational by the 20th of February and the Southern Station BJ-4 days later. The diver sites around Bruddington were manned by the 65th Anti-Aircraft Brigade, transferred from the south coast around Southampton, Portsmouth and Brighton. Stations BJ and BJ-1 were in control of the 416-173 battery under the command of Major P.F. Macdonald. However, the expected assault never came and the last air launch V1 reached Britain on the 14th of January 1945, hitting Hornsey in North East London. The only action that the Flamborough Head diver site saw was on the 4th of March, when the batch fired on an enemy aircraft. The site was finally abandoned after the order to disband the regiment on the 21st of June 1945. The pillbox you see before you is one of many pillboxes built in the area as part of the anti-invasion defences of the early war years. As originally constructed, each emplacement had a 3.7 inch gun mounted on a platform formed from a lattice of rails fixed to railway sleepers, surrounded by a bank of earth and sandbags incorporating free ammunition lockers. The emplacements now survive as shallow 6 metre diameter depressions, surrounded by a low bank and incorporating the remains of concrete floored lockers. The emplacements were organised in pairs, each with a control post and a relaxed duty shelter sited between the two emplacements. The control posts were sited in narrow east-west slit trenches around 10 metres long, linked by partially concrete lined cable runs to the emplacements. The relaxed duty shelters were to the rear, immediately on the west side of the trackway, 